Part of uh, doing a reading was doing the storytelling for me, and so I'm going to be a storyteller today. Some of it's reading, some of it's not. I hope you enjoy the experience. These are plates. Please pass them around. Everyone take one and pass it on. We touched briefly this morning that we are the, the light that we want to be, and so I want to expand on that idea a little bit um, with a couple of brief readings and some music um, by a friend of ours named Laz, who's performed here and sold his music here. Um, I have two short readings, and I'll begin with uh, this one. Uh, I remember the code, okay. So there's a prophecy from South America I wanted to read to you this morning. It's called The Prophecy of the Eagle and the Condor. The Prophecy of the Eagle and the Condor is an ancient indig indigenous prophecy from the Americas that foretell a time when the Eagle and the Condor people will reunite and create a new level of consciousness for humanity. The eagle represents the people of the northern hemisphere, and the condor represents the people of the southern hemisphere. The prophecy says that the eagle and the condor were appointed as guardians of Mother Earth, each all at opposite ends, and that their fight together would bring together the fire, air, water, and rainbow. This reunion would signal a new Pachacuti, a time of healing, reconciliation and reunification for the land and its people. I studied in North America with a couple gentlemen who submitted a book to the U.S. Department of Education, the Educational Research and Information Center, where you can find this text that I'm reading from today. It's called, the, Is the Earth a Living Organism? It was presented in a presentation to, uh, at, in Massachusetts. The entire range of living matter on Earth, from whales to viruses and from oaks to algae, could be regarded as constituting a single living entity capable of manipulating the Earth's atmosphere to suit its overall needs and endowed with its faculties and powers far beyond those of its constituent parts. So I'll place this book on outside. If people want to read it, it'll be on a table outside. Another short reading is from a song called The Rainbow. And thy morning light and evening shade, successive comfort brings. Thy plentous, plentous fruit make harvest glad. 
thy flowers adorn the, adorn the spring, seasons and times, and moons and hours, heaven and earth and air are thine. When clouds distill in fruitful showers, the author is divine. Those wandering cisterns in the sky, borne by the winds around, with watery treasures well supply the furrows of the ground. The thirsty ridge drinks their fill, and ranks of corn appear. Thy ways abound with blessings still, thy goodness crowns the year. <laughs> 